Hey Bush Leaguers, John Wessling here. Uh, man, I've had a great day. I've been learning about how to be a demolition derby driver. You just need to have some good friends, cheap cars, a lot of paint, and a real kick-ass attitude. It's a very cheap motorsport that everybody can afford. Uh, I had a chance earlier to talk to some of the drivers as they got ready. Tell us, what was it like the very first time you wrecked a car into someone else on purpose? Man, I grew up watching it, you know, because I'm from back east, so I grew up watching the derbies and all that stuff. It's not hard, you just gotta get out there and do it. So who got to, who got who into this? Uh, I started it about five years ago. Anybody got to the uh, ever since. How did he convince you to do it? I just saw it once. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen out there in Bush League land, I am here with Mangling Megan, the female demolition derby driver. Are you the only uh, female driver in the race today? As far as I know, yeah. Did you do any kind of practicing? What kind of uh, preparations do you make for a uh, demolition derby? None. <laughs> Just get in the car and I go. Your mother was driving a demolition derby car. Would you take her out first or let her get in second? I'd have to take her out. <laughs> Just make sure all the little stupid things that can kill you are done. It's always the stupid little things like electricity, wiring, gas line popping off. Just going through that and squaring it away. Don't even attempt building a car alone if you have no automotive experience. You need help and some pretty serious tools. Ask yourself, am I a licensed welder? If you said no, then don't do it, period. There are varying rules all over the country, but these are some generally accepted guidelines for demolition derby cars. For more detailed notes, as well as direct links to demolition derby groups online, check out the blog at bushleague.tv. If you want to do the derby really bad and you don't know how to do any of this stuff, call around to some of the people who do. Car mechanics, scrap yarders. If you can get them as pumped up about it as you, then you're on your way to forming a winning team. If that's not working, go to a derby and volunteer to crew on an existing team. That'll get you in the game and put you in the mix with the right people. Here are some no-nos on the track. Do not hit the driver's side door. Sometimes it just happens, but if it looks intentional or careless, you will definitely get DQ'd and maybe get your ass kicked too. No sandbagging. Sandbagging is avoiding contact with other cars or hitting weakly to ensure better odds of surviving and winning the derby. If you can go, go. Balls to the wall until the whistle blows. No teaming up. Everybody plays alone. Have fun, but keep your cool. Hotheads make mistakes that hurt people and often themselves. Stay aware and stay loose. Keep your head on a swivel and keep buckled up and all your extremities inside the car until the refs call the end of the heat. Let us know if you are planning on building a derby car. I bet there's something we could do to help. There are derbies all over the country and I'm sure you can find a few near you. Go to wecrash.com to find driver message boards and lists of derbies in 49 states and Canada. All right, you had the uh, Bush League Racer shot of the day. Hey, you took the hardest hits, so we'd like to give you the Bush League ibuprofen. Uh, ails all that hurts. You definitely earned it today. Thank you.